American figure skater Adam Rippon told how doping could help Camila Valida. The athlete in the sample found the drug termitazidine. At the Beijing Olympics, for the first time I saw live how Camila Valida skates. And I was amazed, I've never seen anything like it. By that time, I had already seen her at the stages of the Grand Prix, but on TV, and even then I was shocked. But Liv, on the ice next to you, she made just a wow impression. Already during training in front of the commander, it was obvious that she was half a body ahead of all competitors. She could afford to make some serious mistakes in her box office and still win. And it wasn't just the jumps. She is a natural talent she feels the music well, spins beautifully and rides at incredible speed. But to be a top level skater you have to be physically very strong, you have to train a lot, you have to be able to do a lot of skates of your programs, and it all takes a lot of energy. What does the termitazidine found in Camila's drug test do? It improves blood circulation, which allows you to train more and longer, your body to recover faster after exercise, and your breathing to keep up with aerobic exercise. Let's be clear. Nothing prepares you better for competition than constant repetition in training. And it is these endless repetitions that affect the stability of your performances. The more jumps you can jump in a row in training, the more skates of your programs you can roll out the stronger you are in competitions. Camila is distinguished by so many incredible qualities and skills that you can't achieve with the help of doping. There is no medicine that will teach you to jump a quad or give you a cosmic stretch you can't get talent with doping. But there are medications that can help you train longer both on the ice and in the gym. The math here is very simple. Imagine that it takes a hundred hours to learn a double axle. If I train two hours a day, I will jump it in 50 days, but if my body is so hardy that I can afford to train four hours a day, then it will take me 25 days to do the same axle. That is, certain medications can buy you more strength and more repetitions of elements in training. Urban said on the Run Through Podcast. Adam Rippon and Ashley Wagner discuss Russian suspensions on the Run Through Podcast. Rippon is the winner of Pyeongchang 2018 in the team, the champion of four continents. Wagner is the winner of Sochi 2014 in the team, the silver medalist of the World Championship 2016, the champion of four continents. The Russians complained that the suspension was an unfair decision. Tatyana Tarasova, Alexander Zhulin repeat that they are disappointed and worried about the ban of Russian skaters. To me, that just goes to show how ignorant they are of where they are in today's sporting and Olympic community, and flat out refuse to see what's wrong with their point of view, Rubin said. It seems to me that this perfectly illustrates how this story is perceived and covered differently around the world and within Russia. After all, all these speakers sincerely believe that they are being treated unfairly, and that the whole world is just waiting for the opportunity to get rid of Russian athletes, said Wagner. This is a very difficult situation, it has many different aspects. And we want to emphasize that we are not talking about individual specific athletes, but about a system that violates the very ethical system of our sport and its spirit. But the worst thing is that she also uses these specific athletes taking away their health in exchange for short-term success, said Ashley Wagner.